Hi everyone. Before I get on to it, remember to like and subscribe and comment down below. Today we're going to make some barbecue squirrel. First you're going to need some wood and hatchet. This is a Collins uh, axe company. Uh, good, you can get this on my website. You can uh, need any type of hammer. And my favorite knife, you can get a, a Mora 4.2 inch knife on my website too. Just go to LarkinsWildEdibles.com. Links down below. So, first one you need to split some wood. Easy way is to watch your finger. Hurt myself recently. Split that right up. Now we get in small pieces because we're using the smoker to do a slow roasting. It's alright, and it just landed in the fire. Okay, it literally just landed in the fire. Perfect shot. So, I'm gonna chop up some more wood, get the fire going here in a minute. Okay, now we're by the fire. I have this set up. I have uh, just a little bit of newspaper and a lot of birch bark, uh, some uh, smaller size kindling, like this and then the logs. Here's the one piece that flew and actually landed it in. No joke. You see it being perfect. And uh, you need some matches. Oh. Light it right up. And it's going. Okay, now I'm going to put the top of the smoker on. I'm going to move the lid. This keeps the, this lid right here keeps any critters out of the inside. Got the smoker right here. I'm going to first put in the bottom. Set that right up. With the door there. Next piece. Ooh, the roar of the fire. Do you hear that? I'm a little dirty now. Um, and then the lid. I'm gonna let that heat up. Get a nice hot oven. And we can get some squirrel going. Yeah, I can't do a thumbs up. Hey everyone. Well, here's Brandon. He's gonna uh, put the squirrel together with some seasoning and uh yeah and then i'm gonna just set it into the smoker when he puts it in the dutch oven so show us the squirrels bud all right here's a female gray squirrel right here i shot on the head so um it i couldn't keep that but there's a head on the male right here i have both hearts in there too and then this is apple smoked sea salt by Pepper Creek Farms. If you guys want to like search that and or go in the store or something, you can find it. And then this is some lard we got from the bacon that we cooked this morning. Um, we cook it in the oven, but uh, you pretty much, this is just maple uh, bacon fat. Now I'm gonna take it just I don't want to use all this because I have something else I want to use it for. But you want to just put like a good amount inside, like just so you can get that flavor. And why not I uh, sprinkle on the seasoning? Alright. And um, mainly because your hands are covered in squirrel now. So let's. Uh, I need a little bit more. And sprinkle on a little bit of seasoning. So let's uh, put some on the inside, maybe on the outside. But... 
If you want this seasoning, you can go on uh, LarkinsWildEdibles.com and get it there too. Just go to products. Okay, that's good on that one. Let's yeah. put it right in there. And you want to remember to line your uh, Dutch oven with some tin foil and have a small little rack on the bottom of it that nothing burns straight to the bottom because this metal will heat up real hot. And maybe put a little bit of seasoning right on the heart. He just put the hearts in. A little bit. Smells there. pretty good. Smells like maple bacon fat. Yep. <laughs> okay. Get inside. A little seasoning there. And maybe the head too. You gotta season the head. Some goodies in there. Okay, and that goes right in. And now, put the lid right on. And in the next shot, I'm gonna put it right on into the oven. Okay, open this right up. Woo! It's really hot in there. Need some wood in there. Heavy. Um, we're gonna keep this going for a while and I'll show you when it's done. Okay, while you're waiting for your squirrel to cook, the what I said of the hammer, the hammer is to uh, sometimes if you use this too much uh, over a few years, then the uh, part on uh, the wedge. And the hatchet will start coming out because it's a wooden handle and you need a wedge to hold the metal in so you just tap that back in uh, the knife is when you're waiting for the fire to get going and uh, cooking you make some feather sticks for the next time so always keep your fingers out of the way it's never good to cut yourself Safety first. So you need to make a basic little feather sticks. So when you're waiting, you make feather sticks. So, yep, I'm gonna do that for a bit. Okay, I would say the squirrel's done now, so let's get the lid off. Dutch oven onto the coin. So we need to bring this handle up. Hot. Go under. Really hot. Get your birch bark hot mint. Grab the handle. Set right there. Yum. Okay, it's all done. Um, here's a photo of what it looks like on inside the Dutch oven. Okay, let's get it out of the Dutch oven. So, let's pull out. Why don't I get around you? Go out of the way a little bit. Wait. Ooh, this looks real good. I'm gonna use my knife. Uh, okay, let's put it right on the plate. It's a little dripping some fat. So, see what uh, a good part Here's the hearts. You want to try the hearts? Let's see how hot it is. Oh, there we go. Let's try the hearts. Hot. That tastes good. Move that well a little bit, bud. Okay. There we go. A little gamey, but you're wearing the twirl. Got my knife. Here's a leg for you. I'm gonna take a leg off of this one. Let's try this. Looks like a old chicken. Looks like chicken.
slow roasted. Has a really nice bark on it. Not a huge amount of smoke because of how I cooked it. How we cooked it. But has a little porky flavor to it. Maybe because of the lardo. But this is good. Try it if you want to. Remember to get outside, get fresh air, have fun. See you next time.